Good evening, everyone. Um, we have four deans who hold the responsibility of dealing with students who are suspected of being um, in possession of an illegal substance or under the influence of such or a controlled substance. Um, generally, if a, someone is suspected, a dean is notified um, and informed that I've, uh, someone feels that a student is in possession of something or under the influence and that student is brought down to the dean's office. Um, at that time, the dean interviews the student to get a feel for what the report um, was and see if they agree. And then um, the dean has what's called a reasonable suspicion to search a student. Um, the deans are not police. They do not need probable cause. They need what's called reasonable suspicion, which is basically a good, a good enough reason to feel that a student might be in possession of something that they should not have. At that point, um, a student is searched by our security staff in the presence of a dean, and it's a minimal search of um, their person and their belongings and their locker. They're also uh, sent to the nurse's office for a basic assessment of vital signs, um, such as blood pressure, pupil dilation, pulse, that type of thing. And if there's still um, a question as to whether or not a student is under the influence, we began using minimally, excuse me, minimally invasive drug test. I'm freezing, and so that's why I'm shaking. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, minimally evasive marijuana tests, which helps the deans make that final determination as to whether or not a student is or is not under the influence of something. If a student is found to be under the influence on their first offense, if that is the only um, infraction that they have broken in terms of the code of conduct, they are usually given an in-school suspension. Um, all of these things that I'm saying are can be found in our handbook, and it's a little bit difficult to read, but when you look at it closely, you can kind of understand what it says. Um, on a student, if a student is found to be in possession of, say, marijuana, for example, there was a time because marijuana is illegal, that if a student was found with any amount, be it one small amount, a joint, one bag, they were suspended for 10 days and given a recommendation for expulsion. That was a zero tolerance policy that used to exist. Given the um, rise and of awareness of substance abuse problems amongst our students that mentality changed some years back and students that were found to be in, a, in possession of a small amount of marijuana was not slammed with a recommendation for expulsion. There is, that's evidence that a child has a problem. It appears to be for personal use. They are given a lesser consequence their first time around and that is the case today. A small amount of drugs will re usually result in in five days of out-of-school suspension. Now, I'm giving you lots of things, but understand that many times when students are found involved in a drug or alcohol-related offense, that there may be many other factors. It might not just be one offense of being in possession or one offense of being under the influence. They might be under the influence and in possession, or they might have paraphernalia. So there are a lot of other things that need to be taken into consideration. But um, basically, if they are in possession of a small amount, they would get five days of out-of-school suspension. If it is a large amount and it leads the dean group to believe that they um, intended to distribute or were caught distributing then that um, will come with a 10 day of a 10 day out of school suspension which with a possible recommendation for expulsion any student that is found in possession whether it's a small amount or not is arrested by the Oak Park Police Department and taken to the station and given police consequences which are separate from the school uh, we have no control or influence on what the police do when the students arrive there. Um, so you get a police consequence, you get a some type of suspension. If you are involved in athletics and co-curriculars, you will also receive some type of consequence from those areas. And you are also placed on what's called social probation, which is restricted from being in attendance at after school activities. So the next dance that's coming up, you will not be able to attend. That's for a, a, a time determined by the dean or the school board if a student is expelled. and. Um, you have to work to gain those privileges back. 
um, discipline records are not considered a permanent record, and so it is not on a transcript, and so when you apply to colleges, it's not there, but colleges do ask if you've been suspended, and sometimes you need to answer that question, and usually you need to be honest about that, so always. So there are a lot of long-term and short-term consequences that students really are thinking about when they make those choices. Thank you.